Yesterday I asked this tricky Jenkins automation question, 57% got it right but 43% got it wrong. So here's the explanation. Let's take this scenario. As a DevOps engineer, you are given a monorepo containing both backend and frontend. Now your requirements are run the backend build stage only if changes include .java files inside the backend folder. Run the frontend build stage only if changes include .js files inside the frontend folder. If both .java and .js files are changed, run both stages. If neither files are changed, skip both stages. मतलब अगर developer ने .java files पे commit किया है, तो हम एक particular stage run करेंगे. अगर .js पे किया है, तो एक particular stage run करेंगे. अगर दोनों पे किया है, तो दोनों stage run होगा. अगर इनमें से किसी भी file में change नहीं हुआ है, तो कोई भी stage run नहीं होगा. Now let's see how do we put that into a logic. Inside this stage for backend build, we'll put a when condition. Inside that, we will write change set. This is used when we want to match a certain pattern of a file. We know our file ends with .java. So here would be the logic. Change set backend slash star star slash star dot java. This means it will search for .java files not only in the backend folder, but it is also going to search inside the backend folder into a subfolder. Then in the stage, particularly for frontend build, we'll write again a when condition. This time in the change set, we will write frontend slash double star slash star dot js. It will search for the .js file inside the frontend folder, inside the subfolders as well. So that is it. Your automation is ready and the answer to the quiz was change set. Have a Jenkins automation question on your mind? Leave it in the comments and I'll cover it in the next one. And do follow for more automation scenarios.